So it's late October. I'm back up at the lake and going to try to get the foundation put in before winter hits. So I'll show you show you what I got going on there. Uh, it's a rainy day. Um, you can see most of the leaves are falling off. There are still some colors around. Uh, I just got here, so I haven't been down to the lake yet. I got a tarp I'm going to try to put up and stay dry. So until I get that done, I won't be filming much. Uh, but once I get down there and uh, get all that set up, I'll keep track of what I'm doing today. Well, I made it down to the bottom. Um, my trail actually held up uh, very well from last time. Big change in the property though with all the ferns dead uh, from last time. Uh, a lot more open. You can really get a feel for all these down trees I need to take care of in there. So that's going to be uh, definitely a couple weekends for the work to try to do that. Uh, you can see here though, uh, lake looks nice other than the rain. So I'm going to, uh, up here is where I'm going to build a shed. So I'm going to try to get a temporary tarp set up here uh, to get out of this rain. So get that done first and then uh, I'll come back and show you what we, what else we have going on. Well, I've dried in now, at least temporarily. So it's uh, not pretty, but it'll get the job done for now. So now I can get to work on laying out the uh, foundation, get all that set up right. So I'm going to start working on that, and uh, I'll try to get some uh, time lapse out if I can. Okay, so I got uh, pretty much everything cleared out and um, my 12 by 16 squared up. So the next step is I have to go through and put a uh, rebar in the ground where every single pier is going to go. So this is a uh, layout here I made up. It shows me where every single one needs to go. So I'm going to pull some string lines and get all those figured out and then get uh, the rebar driven in the ground. That rebar is going to act as a guide when I use the helical piles, which I'll show you uh, later on. So I'll do a time lapse of that and uh, talk to you when, uh, when that's done. All right, so I use the laser level just to get the string line level all the way around. I really didn't need to do that right now uh, for what I'm doing, but it was more out of curiosity for me is try to plan over the winter. So the string line is where the floor is going to be. So you can see we have about, uh, I think it's about 32 or 33 inches off the ground on the front side there. So we'll have to have some stairs coming up to it. Um, really not much else I can do. Really don't want to dig out this hill. So this is the, the low spot, the high spot back there, the low spot of the floor there. So, so from here, I'm going to uh, now lay out all my 12 uh, piling holes where the helical piles are going to go and drive a four foot half inch rebar in each one of those spots. So it's the next step. Uh, it's still still raining, not as much anymore. Um, I like to say it's clearing up, but I really don't think it is. Well, so the temperature is not too bad out. It's in the mid 40s. Uh, there's a good shot of my makeshift work area. Get a good look at some of the logs from last time I was up here, and. Uh, the fire pit area if it turns nice tomorrow i may go pick up a fire ring and put it in here and try to burn some of this brush if i have time i haven't even walked down to the water yet Let's see what's going on down here deer tracks down here uh, 
It's nice and quiet today. Okay, back to work. Okay, so I have uh, all my string lines laid out. You can see the intersections here of all the strings is where I'm going to drive the rebar. <clears throat> so 12, it's going to be 12 uh, helical piles to hold it, hold up the foundation. That was actually easier than I thought. So it went uh, went pretty well. So next step is drive rebar. So I will uh, can try to get some footage of that. It's a little tough. It's stopped raining, I think. Um, so at least I'm not getting wet anymore. I'm gonna leave the tarp up for a while. So okay, time to drive some rebar. Okay, so we got the, all the rebars in, and now we have these guys. So this is a Pilex 50. These are the screw-in anchors, py pylons, or helical anchors. Each one of these is supposed to hold 5,000 pounds, so I have 12 of them, so I don't think we have an issue. Um, we'll see how it goes. You're supposed to just put it in the ground, start screwing by hand, put a 2x4 in here, walk around in circles, so it screws itself all the way into the ground so um, i'll try one first and then uh, try to get one on video and see how it goes i have 12 of them so hopefully they go easy I'm sure on the time lapse that looked like a piece of cake, but I can tell you, it is not. I feel like a uh, a horse uh, going around the uh, making mill, uh, making flour or something. Holy cow! Um, but overall, it uh, I'm very impressed with them. Um, they're solid. You're supposed to uh, once you get them to within 12 inches of the ground. Hit them with a sledgehammer, and if they move at all, um, you know, then you you might have to go deeper. But when I was within 12 inches, uh, they were dead solid, and I took everything I had to uh, to walk around and screw them in. So um, so far, so good. Um, I'm not going to bore you guys with uh, the other 10. Um, I'm going to try to get uh, most of them done tonight before it gets dark. If I can do it so we'll see but maybe if I can get uh, six I'm done I'll do the next six in the morning but uh, you can see it I put a uh, two by four in there just to kind of show you what it'll be like um, you can adjust the height on them uh, by putting uh, that nut on the bottom you can lift it up and down <clears throat> so it's nice you can get it uh, perfectly leveled then so uh, that's it after I get uh, some more in I'll uh, give you guys an update 
check out this guy I found while I was digging. Look at that thing. Look how big he is. I don't know if it's just a if it's just a grub, if it's a caterpillar. That thing's massive though. If I was hungry, I'm sure you could probably eat them, but I have crackers and cheese in the car, so I think I'll take that instead of this guy. I'll put him back and see what he grows into next year. So a little change of plans. I think I'm going to go ahead and get them all started. Um, probably down as far as I can get them by hand without getting a 2 by 4 And then come back uh, tomorrow morning when I'm fresh and drive them all the way, rest of the way in. So I'll go ahead and give you a quick time lapse of uh, me getting all those done. And I'm going to do a few other things and probably uh, get out of here. It's going to get dark pretty quick. So. All right, so I have them all started. I'm out of breath, but so they're all started. And tomorrow I can, uh, a couple of them I got to straighten up a little bit, which is fine. Um, they don't need to be perfect. And uh, get them all the way down. And then, uh, yeah, it'll be set for the spring to go. So I think I'm going to clean up and uh, and call it a day. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna, I might try to hang up uh, uh, a Ario Link uh, camera, cellular camera that I got. So I might try hanging it up before I leave, but we'll see. I'll show you that if I end up doing it. So, anyways, that's done. Finally stopped raining. You can tell the temperature is dropping. There's a the wind's coming in from the north now. It's supposed to drop down into the uh, like 32 tonight. You can see it clearing over there to the north. Mm -hmm. 